affirmation homework. That's what this video is about. So if you are a client training with me or one looking to train with me or just someone looking to um, up your, your game and everything, you have homework. And I give homework to each one of my clients almost every week and it's kind of dependent on each client. But this one is a recurring one that I have done and now I'm adding on to. So affirmations, what are they? They are basically, they are words, quotes, mantras, something. It's kind of an I am statement that you say repeatedly with full belief of over and over, whether it's multiple times a day or just once in the evening and one in the, after, in the night, whatever. It's up to you. If as you say this, your subconscious doesn't know the difference. And so you are literally reprogramming your brain to and like rewiring it to just believe that it doesn't know any different. And then you literally start becoming that thing. It sounds really hocus pocus, hippie crap, but it's literally their scientific proof. And it's crazy. I use it all the time. So the homework is I want you to make a list of 10 affirmations. So it's kind of sometimes hard for people to come up with at least even 10. So think of what you want to become. Mind, body, soul, where do you want to be? What characteristics, what habits do you want to do? All those things. Picture the perfect, perfect you on a pedestal. And what is she doing? What is he doing, okay? And what habits are they doing? So are they a really good public speaker? Are they afraid, uh, not afraid to be on camera? Are they an amazing spouse, an amazing parent? All those things. But if you're saying, oh, I am not those things. So think of, sometimes it's easier for people to think of what they aren't or the negative things. It's just kind of how some, people brain, some people's brains work. But so think of, okay, I'm not a very good parent. So turn it around to the, ne the, the positive side of that. Take the negative, turn it into a positive. I am an exceptional parent, not just a good one. I am, I am, it's an I am statement, an exceptional parent. And it's not just, I am an exceptional parent. It just does lack some luster. So add in some oomph and believe it and wholeheartedly picture and visualize what you are saying. So make a list of 10 things. Okay, and then you send those to me. With that, and once you've started doing that, you're gonna do it for 30 days, okay? You have at least say it once a day. But with that, let's amp this sucker up. And on your phone is a voice memos thing. I use it with my kids, I use it sometimes too. But I recently re figured this out about a couple months ago, and it's crazy to hear your own voice on a recording. So I started saying, I literally wrote out my affirmations and I like recorded myself saying them with some oomph. And then so when I wake up in the morning, I used to, be, used to wake up and scroll through, through Facebook and things like that and it just would set my whole day off into chaos and just everybody else's crap and thoughts and I wanted to start my day how I chose it but I still wanted something to do as soon as I woke up out of the morning and I didn't I I wanted to reprogram my brain so I've started I'll wake up and I will literally hit play and as I'm sitting there and I'm waking up I am listening to my own voice sorry for the loud cars in the background I am listening to my own voice say the things that I am and I'm saying it with it and I am visualizing with full belief and feeling what I am. It is pretty awesome. And my days have been just been amplifying over and over again. So wherever you're at, you're going to make your list. Step one, make your list. Oh, I forgot to tell you. With that list, if you want to amplify it even more, write your affirmations on a bunch of note cards and put them up everywhere.
everywhere over your house, okay? So put them everywhere. I mean everywhere. I have some in the refrigerator. I have some in the pantry. I have some in the bathroom, in my closet, in my underwear drawer. Think of any place that would trigger you. So usually getting naked for people is a trigger. Any place that would is usually a stress. So like a, I don't stress in the kitchen, but I stress, sometimes I do, but stress, eat, especially during COVID. Uh, and so finding what triggers you. I have some in my car. So if you spend a lot of time in your car at practices or driving to work, that is perfect. Put up those I am quotes or reminders and just put them up everywhere. I have one, I have them on the mirror and I have one in a Ziploc baggie in, like tacked up in my shower so it doesn't get all moldy and yucky, but it's a perfect place. Think of places that you spend a lot of time getting ready and where you start your day. It's usually the bathroom, the shower. So in the morning and right before you go to bed is when your subconscious is literally the most absorbent. So whatever you put into there, it will absorb and amplify, okay? And especially at night, it will marinate on whatever you put in there before you go to sleep. So, and then you wake up with whatever was marinating, okay? So, you have your homework. Put it out, get it up, and get those cards up, get those affirmations up, and then listen to your affirmations recording. Send it to me, I would love to hear it, and do it for 30 days. Listen to them, read them at least one, once a day for 30 days. I challenge you and to tell me that you're you're going to be changed. So, I would love to hear from you. Have a great day.